Hello, this is Cuckoo and I'm here with Bastel Instruments and uh, they've got their new um, thing called Trinity and I'm very excited to learn more about it. And uh, this is Václav. Václav. We are from Czech Republic, from Brno. Yeah. So everything is, is made by you? Yeah, exactly. Like all the production, the PCs, everything is handmade in uh, Czech Republic, in Brno. Uh, have you, in terms of quantity, have you, are these made in a factory or do you assemble it all on your own? Like we have a couple of friends helping with, you know, building it up, you know, with soldering and, you know, assembling the, 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 the cases. But, uh, we hire a company only for the circuit boards. Other, other stuff is really made on a friend's level. Yeah. That's fantastic. That's also why perhaps you can see on the, on the cards, it says handmade electronic instruments. And I think it's a good one in this industry. So uh, if you please go ahead and, and show how it works, I'd be very delighted. So um, we have like, the Trinity line, which is like these, uh, square modules uh, they are cool because you can reprogram them to function as anything you wish so but we, we've built up softwares we are like using so this one is a drum synthesizer this one is a sequencer for controlling these two different synthesizers so now it's controlling this one and now it's controlling this uh, monosynth yeah and uh, if I play it together, it, it's all synchronized, shares the power on, and uh, yeah, you can do a lot of things, recall patterns, adduce a lot of settings to a lot of tweaking. And I'm gonna show you like, how to actually do it. So maybe first I want to show you like these blocks, you can dismantle easily. There is like this side connections which you click in quite easily and then it's quite solid, you know, connection. I have only one power adapter powering, powering everything and there is mini communication coming on in this whole setup. These sing, 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 single units don't have the MIDI input or output but there is another module which is pretty much the MIDI connector but not only that, it, this like little module can also convert MIDI clock into almost any kind of clock, like for Korg, Volca, or for Game Boy, or for DinSync, yeah. Which is really cool, and you can also use it for syncing old school gear, yeah. Are these uh, f fully digital? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Like all. So there's a small microprocessor in there that you're programming. Yeah. Exactly, they all have the same microprocessor and the same hardware structure. What's different in those units is the software, which if you're a little bit familiar with Arduino, you can reprogram yourself or you can get a pre-programmed chip from us and just buy one and try all of them. So um, I, I would like to show you now how to make yes. a pattern on the, on the drum machine. So now it's playing, there is a pattern button for uh, changing different patterns. Yeah, so I go to a blank pattern, I put on a metronome and a recording, and then I... So, so this, this is like how you record the pattern, then you can turn off the metronome and do a lot of tweaking. Actually there is like three drum sounds and a shift button for other three sounds. So there is six sounds you can sequence into the sequence okay. and all of them you can fully edit, yeah. So if I have... This, this is the controller and, and these are making the sound? No, no actually no. like if I had only this one, that's, that, that would be the drum I can show you. Like the drums were yeah. just from this unit, yeah. It's also battery powered. Yeah. There is nine volt battery in here. So uh, yeah, and then uh, like this one sends a MIDI clock to this sequencer, yeah. which is then sending MIDI notes into these two synthesizers. Yeah. And uh, in a very similar way, you can uh, program a pattern. For example, now there is no pattern for this monosynth, 
So I just go here to the third instrument, control it, hit record, and then I can... And there is like four patterns for each of those instruments in one preset. There is three presets in total. In the drum machine you have five presets, uh, sorry, five patterns for one preset. And there is six presets in total, so you have like um, six times all the settings for all the six sounds with five patterns. And this all is there six times, so you can like make six tracks or more, like if you're into it. Yeah. Sounds really interesting, and I, I'm wondering how, for how long have you been um, developing this? Well, uh, we've been developing synthesizers since almost three years, but when we were starting, we really knew nothing about it. Like we both studied art school, no electronics, so everything we just need to learn from the internet. And uh, the Trinity uh, we started to develop in uh, in summer, yeah. and uh, yeah, like just to trying out different form factors, what could be like nice and universal interface we would like to you know use, and that would be cool for a lot of different functions. Yeah. Maybe I can show you now the sampler, because yes. that's yeah. uh, that's really fresh stuff. It's a granular sampler, and. Uh, it's cool because it has micro SD card here where you put your wave files and uh, then you can uh, play them and modify them. There is also line input so you can record 8-bit samples. Yeah, it's 16-bit sample but uh, it records only 8-bit sounds and a MIDI input. So, uh, and there is also microphone, yeah. What's cool about it, it can make, you can make it a grain loop. Yeah. It's just the size of the grain and then let the loop travel through the sample forward or backward like when this comes negative so so you, you make this kind of granular evolving soundscape uh, you can of course change the pitch like now it's uh, tuned for semitones but you can turn off the tuning so it's like free run uh, there is also sort of a bit like distortion effect. There is also an envelope, so if I don't use the hole, there is a release. I can put a bit of attack as well, so it takes a while so that it comes up. And all of this you can like play by MIDI, so so the sound can be transposed by sending MIDI keys. But what's also cool, you can switch it that it plays actually the individual grains of the sample. So on the range of five octaves, you can splice, you know, you can play the slices of the loop, which is also really cool. If you'd go ahead and sample something right now, yeah. how would you do it? So I just turn on off the grain. So there is a record button. I just hit on which button I want to record. Yeah. And now it's recording. In terms of the display, uh, because of uh, limiting the noise from the yeah. microphone okay. and, uh, and now you hear like what I've just heard it's quite noisy in here so, so and, uh, I think it's also pitched down a bit it's plain uh, because of so, uh, limiting the noise yes. and now it's recording it's plain because of the plain and uh, uh, like, of like, the like, the like, the I think about it. when I hear and see this, I, I, I feel like art and, and sound is the key words that pop up in my brain. It, it stands on its own and I think it's really the whole concept and the whole sound that you can make is something different than from most other things that you see here on the show floor. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, uh, we've been really like searching for uh, instruments that we would like to play and also that would satisfy you know our, so our sound needs so uh, we actually started to make the instruments because there were no no instruments we would love and uh, we we come a little bit from the 8-bit music background and uh, we, we always love love those glitchy and uh, really like we really digital sound artifacts you can you, you can find in a uh, different you know uh, old school digital stuff which is 
kind of not produce anymore and uh, we play a lot with this aesthetics of the digital so in in the units you can hear sometimes like you can make to really hear the aliasing effects and the digital overflows and also we try to sometimes overload the microprocessor so the processor itself like makes the sound artifacts yeah. and that's like how we think it's really cool to approach the design of such units you could instantly tell that uh, that there is an art background to to you guys uh, by the way is, is it you too Yes. So you're yes. the two. What's your different roles in this? Well, um, we started this together, like developing ideas. My role is more now into like designing the circuit boards and writing the software. But with the whole concept of the instruments, we do it together. Um, the cases, the design, it's uh, something, and also like the the interface and the build quality is what what Andre is really concerned about. He's also more into the business side, and we also cooperate with really nice design studio who makes all the you know um, uh, all, all all the graphical elements, the nice posters. They are called Animate, and they are super cool. This is like another future of, of electronic music is that people get involved to the point where they can actually build things themselves yeah. with the help of Arduino yeah, and exactly. uh, the internet is a great source for learning these yeah. things really fast exactly. and peop there is this feeling of the internet now that people want to help each other they don't want to compete yeah. but they want to help and share things and yeah. I think that's uh, without that you would be in big trouble I think well, uh, I mean, th that's a that's interesting point actually because, uh, you know, we've been really like working with Arduino and with this kind of a background, but then we found out that not everything is on the internet. Yeah. And we found out that it's actually very interesting. We are from Czech Republic and it's very interesting to ask the generation of our fathers. There was like huge, you know, movement of people making stuff like electronics in this, the 60s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's also where the word Bastel originated. It's from German, but in Czech context, it means DIY electronics. And there is a huge phenomenon. It's already built in into the language. It's a kind of a slang word still. Not everybody like knows it or uses it. But um, actually, we have really interesting background. Like we've met like uh, an older guy who's really like a pioneer who made in 70s this modular you know, boxes like in uh, Czechoslovakia, he built oscillators and hooked it up. Uh, Standa Filip, yeah, yeah he, he's, that's his name. That's uh, actually before we've been making um, synthesizers under a brand called Standuino, okay. which was like a tribute to him and also like explaining our like transitioning position uh, between the Arduino world and the world of, you know, the, our like I would say now cultural heritage or something like this. Yeah, I like the fact that you, you you're just not a, a company that wants to hit it big or something. It, it seems to be deep in your roots what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. It's very uh, yeah. Actually, it's very personal, and there is a lot of like local context we refer to also in the humor we use and in in our videos. We really like to play with this local stuff and we really want to encourage like the great minds so, like we don't consider ourselves as the great engineers we are like just people who could communicate things maybe and we would really encourage to, the people the really bright minds in Czech Republic the Bustle generation to you know to rise again and you know show its power <laughs> thank you so much for the introduction uh, I'd like to have a go at these machines myself but I could need a little help on the way I think yeah so uh, yeah yeah cool cool I'm gonna try it out now myself it seemed a little bit complicated for me to, to just dive into it I think it needs a little bit of introduction and and trial and error but I'm gonna try my best now and hopefully with some help from you let's see
Okay, I think I think that's it for 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 this. Um, uh, the Trinity system is a little bit hard to operate at first go, but once you learn how to where where the button combinations are and what it's all about, and perhaps in a more controlled sound environment, uh, actually here it's a little bit noisy in here, but um, I'm really excited about these. A very Handy and very, yeah, it's like you want to eat them, <laughs> very delicious. I like it. Cool. Thank you so much for, uh, for your time, and I wish you all the luck. I think it's uh, cool.